Hello and welcome back to A Home Tide Away with me, Benny Williams. In this video we're going to play a game that I've never played before. I've never just owned to myself to play. This is the Super Nintendo game Chaos Engine, made done by the Bitmap Brothers. And it was also released, I know, on the Amiga. I'm not sure if it was released on anything else. Pro probably PC and stuff like that. Um, but I'm playing this completely blind. I've never played it before. And let's just see how we get on. Like I say, never played it before, and I've just really owned to myself to play it. So that's what we're going to do. And as usual, it's just going to be a bit of a short play. like a um, isometric bird's eye perspective going on on it that um, very reminiscent of a lot of games especially on the Super Nintendo it's just something they do extremely well I've never played the Amiga version of this either of course but I know a few of my friends have played this game quite a lot and they've always said that they enjoy it, so better give it a go and see if it's like myself. And the thing is, I think most of the time with these sort of games, it's always better having two players because the AI, um, your co op AI player, just tends to go a bit nuts sometimes or doesn't come through as much as you want them to. But at the moment, it's very much reminded me of games like Merck's and the Mega Drive. Uh, got a little bit of Total Carnage vibe to it, not quite uh, Total, not, not, not thinking Total at this time, Smash TV I was thinking. I'm not sure if this was ever released from the arcade or not, I'm quite interested to hook it up on the arcade because of course you can play console games on it and just see what it's like as an arcade. And I don't know if this is also released on the Mega Drive or not, obviously being a 16-bit game of the 16-bit era, so someone could tell me. I've got a feeling it was, but I don't know that for sure. So as usual, we'll just go through a couple of levels. And it's just a game I'm just going to have to play a bit more of, get to grips with it, see what it's about. Seems ever so slightly laggy, and I don't know if that's the game itself or I've just recently updated my PC for the emulation, which really we think would be working a bit smoother and a bit more responsive. But I don't know maybe it is the game, but also this is the PAL version because, of course, being in the UK, we have PAL and obviously over 50 hertz over 60 hertz, so. That could also be a reason. But this is how I would have played it had I only had the cartridge. So we're playing it this way, which is why I'm not playing the NTSC 6 hertz version because it's not the way that I would have played it over here. Obviously, I've got that choice to do it. Sort of to that. You know, I'm just firing away shooting a gun, but I'm not trying anything else yet. So that's these uh, these buttons do so. I'm not sure I've picked any grenades on the way. Doesn't seem to be firing any. So hold the left shoulder sort of point you over to oh yeah, diagonal with the left shoulder button. But yeah, I'm not really getting any grenades, so maybe it should be something to continue at the moment. Uh, I don't think if I'll go over that, that'll blow me up maybe. So I'm trying to avoid that thing. The marmus of things at the moment is that, again, it might be just because it's a 50 hertz version, but, and I've not really played it much, don't you know? I've just been a little bit bland, I'm completely honest. 
doesn't feel like there's anything special about this game at all. Over other games I've played and enjoyed it. But again, you know, I might just need to carry on getting the third one. But it's really weird how there's like frogs or toads going on coming out of the ground. They are activated. So at least if you haven't played it before yourself, like I am, you get to see what it looks like. And you know, I'm only going to give my eyes to it. But again, it might just be a lot better as a single player game. Sometimes these games don't work very well as a single player experience. Some games are really fun still as a single player experience, like Total Carnage and, um, and the one I mentioned earlier, which I can't really remember what, what it's bloody called again there. But some, some of them you can get by on the single player, but just so much better as a two player experience. Anyway. That was Chaos Engine, and you're still only on World 1, so I think we can get to see. Whenever I've seen it in videos before, I don't even think people tend to get on World like Level 1 or 1, to be honest, by the time they've given up or finished it. So, to get to Level 2 is too bad, I guess. But I'll probably put some more into that and give you some more thoughts going forward on another video and see if maybe you can visit it and let you know if it's worth coming back to again. So anyway, thanks for tuning in if you have. Give us a like and subscribe if you will, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.